اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صل و سلم على سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علان سیدنا و مولانا محمد افضل صلواتکا بیادن معلوماتکا و بارک و سلم و سلی علیہ یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا اویوہ بلے ادخلوا فی السلم کافا انٹر پرفیکٹلی فی السلم ان سلم سلم لٹرل میننگ اس پیس اینڈ ری کانسلیشن بٹ ہیر ان آیا سلم مین اسلام در ریلیجن ادخلو فی السلم انٹر پرفیکٹلی ان اسلام پرفیکٹلی ان اسلام ایز ای ہول As I mentioned again and again, this is a package deal. You cannot make a pick and choose. You cannot make a pick and choose. As far as the case of belief is concerned, you have to believe in Islam as a whole. As far as the case of practice is concerned, Prophet sallallahu said, Ma amartukum bihi fatu minhu mastata'atum. Whatsoever I have commanded you, do as much as you can. Because all of that we cannot do that. You are weak. You are or not? Yes. So, fatu minu mastatatum, wa ma nahetukum anhu. And whatsoever I have prohibited you, fantahu. Stop and abstain from. Stop and abstain. Dear Prophet Sallallahu in prohibition, he did not use the word that abstain from as much as you can. Yes, if this would have been the word, he was a Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He knew our weakness, that they will jump to anything haram and prohibited. And they will say, Prophet said, as much as you can do, but we cannot do. Yes, there is a, a tongue, so we cannot do that. Amasya, there is a, a tongue, yes. So somebody will say, I cannot do that. And Prophet said, let just go and do that. Because you can, no, Prophet ﷺ says, whatever I have prohibited, abstain from. There is no gray area. Look, in practice, in doing, Prophet ﷺ made us relaxed. They do as much as you can. But in prohibition, no gray area, no loophole. Now you got it? He was a Prophet. وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا and follow not خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ the footsteps of Satan إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوْمْ مُبِينَ Verily, he is to you a plain enemy. He is to you a plain, obvious, clear enemy. His enmity is not hidden. His enmity is not hidden. He is a brave guy. He showed his enmity. He is not flip-flop. He said, I am. Yes, he said it to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm the enemy of Adam and his offspring. And I will be the same until the day of judgment. At least some credit goes to him. Yes or not? That what Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala said, that... Huh? Yes, he's not munafiq. So Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, yes, that... There is good and there is bad. Nothing in between. Yes, there is good and there is bad. And Sayyidina Umar says, now you have to decide where you stand. If you are not standing with good, so for sure you are with bad. Got it? Got it or not it? Because in the battle of good and bad, in the battle of good and bad, yes, our Shaykh Rahmatullahi Alayhi, he said in the battle of good and bad, non-aligned moment is with bad. Yes, that's a silent support to bad. That's what? A silent support to bad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu utkhulu fi silmi kafa. 
فَعَلَمُوا سُو نُو دَيْتْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ غَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ دَيْتْ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَلَىٰ is almighty he can seize you so that's a warning from Allah that if you slide and slip after that everything is clear so Allah said فَعَلَمُوا no K-N-O-W so this is warning فَعَلَمُوا notice it take a note of that فَعَلَمُوا mean take a note of that Yes. Falamu anna Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Aziz and Almighty. So when he is Almighty, yes, so he can seize you. So somebody will say, but why he is not seizing me now? Allah says, Hakim, I have my own wisdom. I have my own hikmah. I have my own hikmah. Why I delay? Why I am giving respite? Why I am giving time? Hal yanzurun a. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do they wait for their time? Ke hanuz dilli duras? Hanuz? Dilli duras? Yes. There was one king in Delhi. Yes. When the attacker, they were coming from Iran. The invaders were coming from Iran. So that king of uh, Delhi and India, he was drunk at that time and taking cuff after cuff after cuff. Yes, the general, he was asking him that we need a command, we need an order, a permission to go ahead. Yes, because the invaders are coming forward. Yes, and every time he used to say, Hanuz Dilli Durast. Now Dilli is far away. Now Delhi is far, they have a long way to come. They have a long way to come. So then the general said, they entered into the fasil and wall of Delhi city. So still he was saying, because he was drunk, I know Delhi Yes, so the invader came and slapped him. The cup was there and he was on the ground. He knows Delhi in his biggest. Yes. Hal yanzurun. هَلْ يَنْزُرُونَ إِلَّا أَيَّاتِ يَوْمُ اللَّهُ Do they wait for that أَيَّاتِ يَوْمُ اللَّهُ that Allah will come to them فِي ظُلَلٍ مِنَ الْغَمَامِ in the shadows of cloud Allah means His عذاب and punishment they are waiting for that time when the punishment of Allah will approach them in the pieces of cloud then they will believe هَلْ يَنْزُرُونَ إِلَّا يَاتِ يَوْمُ اللَّهُ فِي ظُلَلٍ مِّنَ الْغَمَامِ وَالْمَلَائِكَ and the angels will approach them وَقُزِيَ الْأَمْرُ and the case would be already judged and decided وَإِلَى اللَّهِ تُرْجَغُ الْأُمُورِ and to Allah return all matters for decision سَلْبَنِي إِسْرَائِلَ كَمْ آتَيْنَا أُمِّ الْآيَةِ مْبَيِّنَا so these people are looking for proofs after proofs after proofs after proofs. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, look into the history. And they are your neighbor. You are living in the same community. So just ask the children of Israel, how many clear proofs we had given them again and again. But when they did not believe properly, what happened to them? Just ask them. Salbani Israel. As the children of Israel come at now, mil ayatim bayina. How many clear proofs, evidences, or lessons we have given them? Waman yu badil ne matallai. Now, when you have the rules, you have the evidence, you have the proof from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That's a favor. That's what. That's a favor. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says they were supposed to believe in. But they changed the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they did not believe, so what they did? They changed the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the result is very much known. 
ریئلی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی اس شدید لقاب سویر پنشمنٹ زوین للذین کفرو بیوٹی فائیڈ اس دلائے پاپ دس ورڈ فاردوز زوین للذین کفرو بیوٹی فائیڈ اور سیمڈ بیوٹی فل اور سیمڈ فیر تو دوز ہو دس بلیوڈ وٹ ہیز بین بیوٹی فائیڈ تو دیم الحیات الدنیا دی لائف آف دس ورڈ ویسخرون من اللذین آمنو and they mocked those who believe oh we have BMW you are still in Toyota Corolla we are living in Beverly Hills you are still living in a small apartment of one room you say we believe in the message of that how they were mocking at Muslims they were mocking at Muslims because their priority was a bungalow in Beverly Hills a BMW, a bank balance, a property, a status, yes and then, yes. Zuyyena lilladheena kafaru al-hayatu al-dunya beautified for those who disbelieved. Al-hayatu al-dunya the life of this world. Wa yaskharuna in them awk min al-lazeena amanu at them who believed in the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is but a matter of priority. That their priority is the life of this world. وَالَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا And those who avoided kufr and disbelief. فَوْقَهُمْ They will be over them يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةَ On the day of judgment. They will be in a high status. On the day of judgment. وَاللَّهُ يَرْزُقُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَلَىٰ Provides to whom he wills بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Without counting, he does not count. When he gives, so he gives a lot. كَانَ النَّاسُ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ النَّبِيِّنَ People were all together one ummah. From the time of Adam, up to little bit before Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam all people were believers you should write it all people there was not a single disbeliever all over the world yes sinners were there disbeliever was not there violators were there but disbeliever was not there فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ النَّبِي so after that it started believers and disbelievers believers and disbelievers yes so that's why we say that belief is qadim disbelief is hadith belief is qadim and disbelief is hadith iman is ancient iman is ancient kufr and disbelief is new people fabricated it later on yes close to the time of Nuh and that's why Prophet ﷺ says he is the first messenger sent to the children of Adam. He was not the first. Before him there was Adam. He was a messenger as well. Before him there was Sheath. He was the messenger as well. Do you know what I'm saying? So why he is called the first messenger? First messenger who was giving them the dars of Tawheed. The lesson of Tawheed. And he was condemning shirk and disbelief. Yes, because Adam was in no need of condemning disbelief. It was not there. You know what I'm saying? If something wrong is not in a community, you should not condemn it. Otherwise, people will become, cu become curious about that. What is that? So you are going to introduce a new evil to the community. You know what I'm saying? God or not it? Yes. So, yes or not? So you are going to introduce a new evil to the community. Why you are doing that? Yes. Do not, do not discuss it. That's what I told them when these guys ask me, we need uh, a fatwa of you regarding this. I said that uh, somebody is, is there to do this. They said no. So I said, why you are going to introduce this practice here? <laughs> yes, you will propagate my fatwa. People will say, let's start this business. Yes. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala rasuli Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sahabihi wa nuhi Allahumma rabbna alhamna bil qur'an izin wa kinna bil qur'an wa nasina wa alimna min wajah Allah suratul wa ta'anna alil wa anna nahar Fallahu khairun hafizah wa rahmur rahmin from day after tomorrow which is Saturday Salat al-Fajr will be 
6 o'clock. Salat Asr will be 5.15. Salat Isha will be 8.45. Fahim, Bismillah. Azan. No, no. Still before. John, what you will bring us from China? No, don't bring us uh, any monkey meat or dog meat. <laughs> <laughs> Once this Waji, I asked him that you were in China, what you brought? He said, Sheikh, there is nothing but only donkey and <laughs> donkey meat, dog meat and monkey meat. That's mostly in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong? Yeah. No, so just ask if you will go. So just ask someone that uh, the Muslims, that where is the grave of Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, the great general of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa who conquered almost half of Africa. Yes, and that area is, there is a signboard only for Muslims. They don't allow non-Muslims there. And there are Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas along with 70 Sahaba. Rizwanullahi alayhi wa sallam. Yes. Ayah number. Actually, I think Zia knows that. If you will give him a call. Yeah. So he will tell you the, the city. I'll give you contact with Zia because he went to visit. Huh? Romchi, I think so. I think so, that's called Romchi. Yes, Romchi. So, so for sure go there and say our salam to Saad ibn Abi Waqqas and to Sahaba. That you have your followers there in Granada Hills. Yes. Saad ibn Abi Waqqas, he was a man. So today, <laughs> okay, after this. Yes. I was referring to something good. Ayah number? Huh? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد أفضل صلواتك بعدل معلوماتك وبارك وسلم وسل عليه كان الناس أمة واحدة mankind were one community all together means based on Tawheed or agreed upon Tawheed so from the time of Adam until the time of Nuh alayhim as salavatu wa taslimat there was no any disbelief in Allah and no any polytheism there was monotheism yes sins were there violations were there but Kufr was not there. Shirk was not there. That's what Allah is referring to. Kanan nasu ummatan wahida. Got it? And before Nuh alayhi salatu was salam, people got confused to recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They were knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. 
through his attributes that he is the excellent he is the highest he is the almighty he is the all powerful he is the all wise he is the all knowing he can cause death yes he is a light and things like that got it now human approach that is very short sighted so they were looking for that god in his creature they were looking for that god in his creature so some of them when they looked at the light of sun they say oh this is god because they knew that allah is light said so this is the utmost light so this is god some others yes this is light but sometime it burns sometime it burns and allah subhanahu wa taala he has compassion so they say moon that is the god yes as allah subhanahu wa taala guides and based upon stars they used to find out their way at night so they were looking at different star this is god this is god he is causing death so they were looking at snake and cobra yes what yeah or black mamba or what on black mamba so they were making their statues and worshiping that some of them allah is excellent and very high yes eagle he is flying very high so they made the statue of a statue of eagle and they used to worship him got it that is because of their short sightedness wa qalu la tazarunna alihatakum wa la tazarunna waddan wa la suwa'a wa la yaghusa wa yaquqa wa nasra in the time of nuh alayhi salatu was salam there were five famous gods lot of others were there but these were strong and powerful some of them they were in the shape of eagle some other in the shape of snake god and these five these are the statues of pious people these five were the statues of pious people now if you will go now to india so you will find the same thing they will be worshiping the snake statue the dog statue and especially monkey is very powerful monkey is a powerful god yes but they are neighbor they are eating it and they are worshiping yes in china they are eating that but in india they are worshiping got it close neighbor to each other got it and back home once somebody asked our sheikh rahmatullah ali yes regarding india and pakistan as you know there is political rift and things like that yes yes or not yes. so he said uh, uh, the the guy asked him that sheikh so actually why we cannot get together why we cannot get together so sheikh said because we eat cow they worship cow <laughs> yes so they will not allow us to eat their god got it so that was a confusion because of the short sightedness of human that they started worshiping the creature so allah subhanahu wa taala sent sayyidna nuh alayhi salatu was salam he is the first ever messenger very clearly from day one he said ubudullah ma lakum min ilahin ghayru there is no any other god but only one there is no any other god but only one got it got it or not it so allah said वार्निंग Yes, and that's what Sayyidina Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه said that people are either good or bad. You have to decide where you stand. People are either good or bad. You have to decide where you stand. Yes, there is nothing in between. He said there is nothing in between. Yes, either good or bad. You have to decide where you stand. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says for good people, the messengers were giving what the glad tidings. and for disbelievers giving warnings 
الحق like this الحق and the other one is called الصدق these are used synonym as well these are used synonym as well حق is such a truth which is established صدق is truth but حق is such a truth which is established but in logic in logic these two terms are different these two terms are say different not different in a sense that they are opposites to each other but the attribution is different for example for example if i will say hawad was sitting there in social hall yes and he was eating Yes, so I informed you that Hayward is sitting in social hall and he is eating. He is sitting in social hall and he is eating. Got it? Got it or not? It? You went there and you saw Hayward that actually he is eating. When my news and information is according to the situation in existence. So from this side, this is called Siddhaq. From this side, this is? Because, because my information is according to that. Yes, but from the other side, yes, if you will take the eating and sitting of Hawad in social hall, yes, and you will tell it with my news. So from the other side, he's sitting and eating, that is called haqq. Got it? So now you are giving information with about something. Yes, and situation is the same in existence. So if you will, yes, you will say something about this news of mine that that's the current situation so this is called al khabar al sadiq that's called al khabar al sadiq but as far as the actual existence of the practice is concerned that is according to my news so that existence is called al haq nuruddin you got it you got it not it i'm very happy that on that day i got those big books from Hafsa. Yes? Yes. The, the books yes. which we brought? Oh, these are very good books. Yes. Especially there is one book by Mullah Sadra. Mullah Sadra is Sadruddin Shirazi. He's from Shiraz. He's from? And he is a well-known philosopher in Muslim history. Yes. The book he has written is Sirul Arifin, The Elixir of uh, Gnostics. Yes, that is a very famous book. Got it? And I'm looking for philosophy somewhere. So I got it? Yes, subhanallah. The American, or what they call the Utah, Utah people? The Mormons. Mormons, yes. The Mormons, they printed these Muslim books because they are philosophers. And these books are very authentic in philosophy. And the way they have printed it, Arabic text along with English translation, the paper they used, yes. Yes, subhanallah. That is some. Huh? Mormons. Yes? You didn't see the books there? Yes. The, the big cotton which we brought. Because of his upset, that's not up by use. I don't know what is there. Yes. I say this is only for those mullahs who have little bit uh, pagal pun or madness in their brain. كان الناس أمة واحدة فباص الله النبيين مبشرين ومنذرين وانزل مقوم الكتاب. So now look, this is the Muslim philosophy, our Islamic philosophy. Look at me, like as we say, this word is قديم or حديث. Say, this is حديث. Some time back it was not in existence. The whole word was not. In existence, it came into existence after non-existence. So anything which comes into existence after non-existence, that is called 
hadith. Qadim is only the entity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is since ever, forever. He is eternal. So he is called Qadim. All other things are hadith because they were not in existence. It came in. And then the philosophy says something which come into existence after non-existence. Ultimately it will go to non-existence once again. That's how the philosophy is. Kullu man alayha. Say Nuruddin. Fan. Wa yabqa wajhu rabbika. Zil jalali wal ikram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the whole world will vanish. It will disappear. Because that is hadith. That is not qadim. Only Allah will stand still there. Because he is qadim. Because he is qadim. Now look. Anyhow. The message which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was giving. That started with Adam. That started. So it means that this message and prophethood is also hadith. That is what? Got it or not? It? That is also hadith. When that is hadith, for sure it will have an end. For sure it will have an end. It will not be going on until the day of judgment that Allah will be sending messengers and messengers and messengers and messengers. And this philosophical concept was there. That's why the Jew, they stopped with Prophet Moses. And the Christians, they stopped with the Jesus. So we say that your own messenger said that I am not the ultimate stop. You would be charged for citation because you are taking a wrong stop. You are making a wrong stop with the word, with the fire area. Yes, just go ahead. The ultimate stop is with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it means based on philosophy, khatm e and finality of prophethood, that is something logical. Must be there. And our Shaykh Rahmatullahi Alayhi, Wala Abdul Hatsab Rahmatullahi Alayhi, he said it like this, that look, that why the system given by Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that is the utmost system, it will be going on until the day of judgment. So Shaykh gave a very beautiful example. A newborn baby, it needs what? A fabric only one yard. For its dress, how much? One yard. So Shaykh said, when he will grow, then two yards, then three yards. A time will come when his height will stop. No any further development. So at that time, the measurement, seven yards for example. How much? Seven. Now he doesn't need to go to the khayyat and to the tailor again and again. But the khayyat, he put on his record. Yes, his measurement, this, 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 this. He sends only his uh, fabric. I asked my brother there, that just make me two, three. So my khayyat and my tailor, he has my, and he knows that I'm not growing up more. Five, eleven, yes, that's the ultimate end. You know what I'm saying? So Shaykh Rahmatullahi Alayhi said, from Adam to Nuh, this baby of time, time was just like a baby. Time was just like a baby. It needed only one yard. So that's why there was only dars by Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wasalam against sins and violation. You know what I'm saying? Because small baby, yes, we cannot understand that much. Then, at the time of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, it needed, for example, two yards. In the time of Ibrahim, that baby was in need of three or four yards. In the time of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he was in need of five yards. In the time of Jesus, he was in need of six yards. In the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam, the development stopped and he gave us a system which is seven yards. Yes, so whatever fabric you want to make your dress, you need only seven yards. So whatever problem you will have, just go to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to his sharia. Now you got it? This is logical or illogical? Say Ya Rizwan. Yes. Got it? And I gave you another example. You know that. Yes. They, the ultimate end as far as text and system of education is concerned, PhD. What is that? PhD. PhD. Yes. So, I give example that from Adam to Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, the humanity, they were in elementary stage. From Nuh to Ibrahim, they were in middle school age. From Ibrahim to Musa, they were in high school age. From Musa to Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, they were in until the bachelor age. From Isa to Muhammad, they were in master age. Muhammad came and he gave us PhD and he said that's the ultimate end. Just go ahead and use that PhD until the day of judgment. Now you got it? Now you got it or not it? That is something logical. That's something 
reasonable. That's something according to our wisdom. That's something according to philosophy. And that's why we need, yes, the secular philosophy, yes, and also the Islamic philosophy of Imam Waliullah, Rahmatullahi Ali. When you will complete uh, this uh, Dars Hadith, and Nuruddin will complete Al Qawaid Al Fiqhiyah, then we will go for Islamic philosophy of Imam Waliullah, Rahmatullahi Ali. Yes, all these Arab ulama of nowadays, when they are talking about any philosophical point of view in Quran and Sunnah, so all of them, like Dr. Yusuf Al Qarzavi, Dr. Ranzan Al Bouveti, Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baad, and all of them, they say, Waqal Al Imam Al Dehlavi. Waqal Al Imam Al Dehlavi. That Imam Dehlavi, Hazrat Shah Waliullah, Rahmatullahi Alayh, he said like this because he was actually the Mujtahid of this field. He was actually. Before him, nobody has written a specific book on Islamic philosophy, on Sharia. Got it? He will make it very reasonable to you. Why believe in one God? Why believe in message? Why finality of prophethood? Why believe in angels? Why believe in book? Yes. Why believe in punishment in grave? Why prayer? And why the times? What's the philosophy in times? Why the zakat? What's the philosophy in nisab? Why the fasting? What is there in this timing of fasting? Yes, so he's talking about all these things. Got it? Not it? Or bought it? Yes, so I have a headache, but anyhow. Yes. All people, they were one community. But later on, they got confused to recognize Allah, as I mentioned. So they started worshipping creature. Yes, you should you should use the word creature. Yes. So Allah sent the prophets Mubashirina giving glad tidings, wa munzirina and warnings, wa anzalama abul kitaba and he sent the scripture in truth with him. Le yahkuma bain Allah say. So they may judge between people. So now look, it means that all the messengers, they received a system from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They did not receive rituals only. They received a system. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they may judge between humans. Got it? لَيَحْكُمَ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ In order that they may judge between humans. فِي مَخْتَلَفُ فِي In those matters. اِخْتَلَفُ فِي Wherein they differed. وَمَخْتَلَفُ فِي وَمَخْتَلَفُ فِي إِلَّا الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا And nobody they disputed in their given system. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ But only those أُوتُوا who Only those who were given this system. The very follower of the system they disputed therein. Illa ladina utu. Remember, so what is Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox? Yes, they are given the 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 the, the book of Jesus and the message of Jesus. They disputed. You know what I'm saying? Illa ladina utu. Mimbadi maja atumul bayna to after they the clear proof said come unto them. Bagyam bayna. Baghiyam bainahum Because of what? Because of baghiyam And baghiyam means violation of boundaries Baghiyam means what? Violation of boundaries Or baghiyam means arrogance Baghiyam means arrogance So as I do mention time and again Why somebody is becoming kafir Or somebody is becoming fasiq Somebody is becoming fasiq why? There are one of the three reasons. Either ignorance, either ignorance or arrogance or vested interest. There is no any fourth reason. Only three reasons are there. Somebody is disbeliever or he is a violator. Either because of ignorance, jahalat, or because of arrogance. He knows that is the truth but he doesn't want to believe in. So that is arrogance. And number three, vested interest. Yes, and vested interest include two things. Vested interest, yes, include two things. And what is the it? Huh? No. Vested interest are two things. 
नंबर वन लव ऑफ वेल्थ एंड नंबर टू लव ऑफ स्टेटस यस हब्बुल जाल हब्बुल माल व हब्बुल जा और हब्बुल मनसब वेस्ट इंटरेस्ट हीज आर टू बेसिकली हब्बुल माल और हब्बुल मनसब गॉट इट فَهَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا سُوَلَّا guided those who believed مَخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ in those things they disputed therein مِنَ الْحَقِّ means from truth بِإِذْنِهِ with his life وَاللَّهُ يَادِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ and Allah guides whom he wills إِلَى سِرَاتٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ to the straight path أَمْ حَسِبُتُمْ أَنْ تَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ now Allah said that people will be of two types. Number one, the believers. Number two, the disbelievers. Number one, the good doers. Number two, the wrong doers. Number one, the just. Number two, the cruel or unjust. Got it? And for sure, they will be having their own interests. Or they will be having their own ideology. So for sure, they will be fighting with each other. Yes. And what will be the result of fighting? Murder. Killing. Injuries and things like that. Yes. Oh, Subhanallah. This type of difficulties will come. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, then paradise is the house of your mama. That's the house of your mama. Got it or not? It. You are looking for paradise. It is not given for free. Nothing is free, especially in America. Even the air. We are breathing, that's free. We are paying our taxes in one way or the other. Especially, he has the smart check. It's for this purpose. <laughs> what smart check mean, Nuruddin? Huh? Yes. <laughs> Got it or not? It? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yes, you are bound to do something. To get into paradise. Yes, that is something else. That we cannot enter to paradise or we cannot have the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based upon our amal. Yes, our amal will be only an access towards the maghfirah. And that's what Abu Hanifa says, rahimahullah. La yadkhulu ahadun al jannata illa bi fadlihi. La yadkhulu ahadun al jannah illa. Nobody can go to jannah and paradise but only with the grace of Allah. سبحانه وتعالى مفهوم ومن أدخل النار فقد أدخل بعدله and whosoever has been taken to جهنم that is because of the justice of Allah سبحانه وتعالى it doesn't mean that Allah did any unjust to him yeah سبحان الله this guy was saying simple sentences نوردين yes المالكي الحنفي are you yes نوردين المالكي الحنفي Yes, we had one of our teachers from Egypt. Now he is very old. I don't know he will be alive or not. So his name was Dr. Hassan Mahmoud Abdul Latif Al Shafi'i. Dr. Hassan Mahmoud Abdul Latif Al Shafi'i. If he is alive, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give him a long life. He was a good scholar and a good pious alim. Yes, and if he is dead, so may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give him best paradise. Yes, he was uh, teaching us there in uh, International University in Slavat. Yes, so. He was Hassan Mahmoud Abdul Latif Al Shafi. So sometimes he himself was saying that Hassan Mahmoud Abdul Latif Al Shafi Al Hanafi. He said, regarding my nasab and lineage, I am Shafi, but regarding my maslak and mazhab, I am Hanafi. Yes. So he used to call himself Hassan Mahmoud Abdul Latif Al Shafi Al Hanafi. Yes. Am Hasibatun. Or do you think an tadkhulul jannah that you will enter paradise? Walamma yaatikum masalul lazina. And you will not have received masalul lazina trials like of those trials. Trials. Difficulties. Like of those khalaw min qablikum who passed away before you. Do you think so? You will not pass through trials and difficulties and you will enter to jannah? Allah is asking us. Allah says, if you are thinking so, you are living in full paradise. You are living in full paradise because you have to face the difficulties for the sake of Allah. How much difficulties we are facing for the sake of dollars? 
Yes or not? But for the sake of Allah, we are not ready to face any difficulty. Yes, deen means we should have it for free. Yes, God or not? Deen means this is the generosity of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. For worldly knowledge, people will be paying fees. Yes, but for deeny knowledge, if you will put five dollars per month, people will not be ready to do that. I am not going to do that. I am giving you an example. As I told you, that if I have money, I will give you. Because you are giving your time. And especially in America, your time is more precious. I would have given you a lot of money if Dr. Seb will help me out. So I will be giving you. Yeah. Am hasebatum do you think an tadkhulul jannah that you will enter paradise walamma yaatukum and you would and you will not have received masalul lazina the difficulty is like of those khalaw min qablikum who passed away before you what difficulties they faced what trials they passed through masathumul basau Masathumul Basao, they were afflicted with severe poverty, Waddarrao and severe ailment, Wazulzilo and they were shaken, Hatta Yakula Rasulu, until the messenger said, Wallazina Amanu and those who believed Bagao with him, Mata Nasrullah, when the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come, Allah inna Nasrullah Karib, yes, certainly the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is nearby but when it will come to you when you are totally disappointed and disparated yes so then Allah will say yes now the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I call by your doorstep got it but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you have to face people do think that that is more than enough to say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah they will not be put to trials? Allah said, no, not at all. Yes? وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَ الْقَاذِبِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that before you, I put people to trial and to test. Yes? So Allah may separate practically who are the true believers and who are not. Who are the true believers and who are not. Got it? And that what uh, Dr. King said. Who said it? Dr. King, that a true follower or friend is that one. He stands with you in time of adversity. Not in time of prosperity only. In time of uh, prosperity, as I do mention, Winston Churchill, he said, Churchill was, yes, yes, this, this, this person, here from us. He was a philosopher also. So Winston Churchill said, what he said? That victory has so many fathers, while defeat has none. Victory has so many fathers, defeat has none. If the planning got defeated, nobody will take responsibility because of me. But if victory happened, I did then like this. Then I planned like this. Everybody will jump. Yes, victory has so many fathers. While defeat has none. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam, wa rasuli Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sahabihi ma'in. Allahumma rabbana alhamdulillah, wa al-Qur'an, 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 wa